What's up, YouTube? Dylan here today. Here talking about the situation surrounding COD points within Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now we know we got supply drones within Black Ops 3 because it was so successful in Advanced Warfare. I'm pretty sure Activision made money off supply drones more than the actual Advanced Warfare sales, which doesn't surprise me because I mean Advanced Warfare was pretty much pay to win the best games in the game, uh, get best guns in the game. And I feel like if they bring back weapon variants within Black Ops 3, it's just going to be the same thing all over again. I'm probably not even going to play Black Ops 3 that much if that's the case, because weapon variants did make the game, honestly, unbalanced. Even though I liked some of the, the weapons that they, like, had for the supply drops, it's still, you know, you could tell, like, at times where it's just like, man, if I only had this gun, I definitely would have won that gunfight or such a situation. But then again, it was Advanced Warfare, so you were, you were going to get killed no matter what gun you had, up, down, side to side, so... It just brought so much chaos, but then if you brought that brought weapon variance into Black Ops 3, you're definitely going to cause problems. Now, is now with the COD point system, is that going to break Black Ops 3? Is that going to damage the game in any way, shape, or form? Not really, since the only things you'll get in supply drops are cosmetic. They don't affect your your, your game performance at all. They just affect your, the look of your gun and stuff like that. So it's really not a big big deal. And like the taunts you get from your for your specials character. But I really hope that. Black Ops 3 does not add in weapon variants. I mean, maybe they can bring in like new guns that don't really change the scope of the game. Like weapon variant, like let's say if they brought back the Peacekeeper. Like, okay, you bring back the Peacekeeper, that's fine by me. I mean, there's still a chance I can get it. It's not like a pay to win scenario or it's like the best gun in the game. You know what I mean? Like it, it does insane amount of damage. That, or there's a new ver variation of, I don't know, the M8 where it's like instead of a four shot kill, it's a three shot kill. Like that would just be so unbalanced and it's like really rare and the only way to do it the only possible way to get it in a certain amount of time would be to collect a good amount of cod points but i don't think that's going to be the case with this one but you never know activision just might change their mind and just say trick you're doing this you're adding weapon variants we want more money from these supply drops let's go you know i hope that's not the case at all because like i said i feel like you know the cod point thing is not a big deal at all if you want to spend your money on cosmetic items go right ahead because no one's telling you to buy COD points, but I can understand, you know, certain people here, people here and there are not liking the, the this idea and this is changing the way Call of Duty is supposed to be. And, you know, I think times are changing and microtransactions are becoming a popular thing within video games nowadays. I mean, it's, it's something you just can't change for now. I mean, it's really not up to... I mean, you're... I mean, the, the reason why they just keep continuing to add in combos is because of you. It's because the COD community, they're like, rich. the COD community is rich as fuck. Like, honestly. All the people that have been spending their supply drops, and spending their money on supply drops, they're making videos about it. It's just like, really? You're wasting all this money on things that aren't going to matter for the next year because of the new Call of Duty game that's coming out. But, hey, that's your money. Spend what you want, to, spend what you want on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll, you know, benefit you in the long run. But for me, it's just like, nah, I, I couldn't do it. You guys may see it differently though, but overall, yeah, the comp system, it's not a bad I knew that we all knew this was coming eventually, you know. Once we heard that supply drops were gonna be in Black Ops 3, we we're gonna be somehow be able to pay for a certain amount of points to obtain more supply drops. And I think they updated some of the supply drops to get better rewards, like especially in the rare supply drops. So that's a good thing. Some of the camos in the in the supply drops anyways honestly aren't even that good. Like I I hate a lot, of, a lot of camos in Call of Duty. Not gonna lie, because they're just never cool. They never are cool. They're like only a few camos that are cool. You know, like Dark Matter, which you have to get all diamond camo in. You don't even get that in supply drops. I mean, there's a few other camos here and there that are in the supply drops that actually are worth something. But overall, there's just, that's not much to it. But you guys may see it definitely. Let me know in the comment section down below about uh, the, the, the new COD point system in Black Ops 3, are you guys spending money to buy uh, these supply drops? Let me know in the comments section down below, and do you think it's even worth it? you think we're actually going to get new weapon variants in Black Ops 3 as well? Yeah, I bet you will. I bet so. We'll probably get more weapons, new weapons, through supply drops, but I don't think we'll get new weapon variants. You get what I'm saying? So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, more content to me on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and other games in general. I'm Dimalex. I'll see you in the future.